welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah and this is Like So Amazing. So today I'm going to share with you my makes that I did during the month of May. Um, so for those in the sewing community I'm sure you all know about Me Made May um, which I took part in again this year and that is you set yourself a personal challenge for the month of May to do with your handmade wardrobe. So um, my challenge that I set myself was to um, wear handmade items every day of the month and to um, do kind of round up blogs every week um, and then to do a summary and also I set myself a challenge of not buying any fabric throughout the month of May. I did slightly fail on that one but there were some too good to miss um, opportunities so I'm not going to beat myself up about that too much. So anyway on to today's purpose which is sharing the makes that I made during May. So the first one I'm wearing now is my Tilly in the Buttons Agnes top. This might look a little bit familiar um, as I made one exactly the same in uh, a, just a different colourway of the same fabric. It's the look back jersey from Guthrie and Garney. Um, but this time it's the pale blue and white stripe as opposed to the sort of navy grey sort of colour. So exactly the same construction, um, didn't make any changes. I just love the top so much that I wanted to make it in this colour. So yeah, really, really happy with this one. Um, and on the subject of Agnes, a friend of mine had asked me um, to make her an Agnes, which I did, and she's asked me if I could also make her a vest. Um, so what I did was just to try it out on myself first. I took the Agnes top for myself uh, and I hacked it into a vest. So I've lowered the back quite significantly, taken some in from the sides. Um, and rather than doing a neck band on this, and because I've just got a new cover stitch machine, um, I have literally just folded over and to a needle. It turned out really nicely, um, so really pleased with the fit. So I'm actually going to make quite a few of these really good kind of wardrobe staples. Saves having to buy Primark vests. Um, so what else did I make this month? Um, so I also made the Rosalind pyjamas from Sew Me Something. Um, I was given this pattern for free um, as part of a competition um, during the Knitting and Stitching show. Um, so it's, it's quite like the Carolyn pyjamas from Closet Case Patterns, as in it's got quite a formal shirt, pyjama shirt um, top, as well as the bottoms and um, which I was going to make um, I was quite, kind of quite looking forward to doing the pint peeing and that sort of thing but actually when I thought about it I never ever wear pyjamas like that I'll always wear PJ bottoms and just a vest so in the end I just made the trousers and they are quite a roomy fit um, and it does say that on the pattern that they're kind of very loose and comfortable but that's lovely um, you know you can make the elastic as small as you want and then you've got um, a little tie that you put through it so I did a contrast waistband that just matches the flowers uh, on the front so I made it in a lovely cotton lawn that I bought from the knitting and stitching show as well so yeah they've been lovely really comfy to wear um, I might actually try and make a short version of them as well um, because it, they might be a little bit too hot for the summer. Next up is this dress that I made. So I did some pattern testing for Clatty patterns again. So this is a tight bodycon type of dress with a scoop neck. Uh, it's got a seam down the back, but I think the version that she's eventually releasing um, doesn't have that seam. Um, my feedback was actually, you don't need it at all. I made it in this striped jersey that I had in my stash. It's got lots of different stripes running through it, and I painstakingly matched them all. So to match them at the side seams and the back seam as well. Um, but it actually worked out really well, um, matched 
quite well as well along the top. Um, my only only flaw with this is it's a little bit see-through so I have to wear a slip with it um, but that's you know not a bad thing but yeah it turned out really well really pleased with that one and great for work that sort of thing. made this simplicity pattern so it's a back wing top um, really really simple construction just a neckband and cuffs on it um, and so it's sort of it fits quite tight across the hips and then blouses out over the top um, I've actually got a really really similar top to this that I bought from Marx's a few years ago um, really really love that top so yeah pleased to be able to kind of recreate it um in this lovely cobalt blue um this fabric is actually from um gabby from gabadashery um she did a de-stash quite recently um and this was one of the fabrics that i got from that um so yeah it worked out really really well uh, and the pattern itself is simplicity k8089 so here it is here and this came free with our goodie bag from the dressmakers ball up in Leicester so yeah actually a really really great um, free pattern so there's lots of different versions there's a version with a slash down the top of the sleeve that looks quite interesting um, so I think I'll definitely make something else from this as well So lastly, moving on to my favourite make of the month. So this was the reason that I didn't manage to stick to my Me May May pledge of not buying fabric for the month. My friend Marie runs a fabric shop in Bristol and she was having a kind of closing down sale while she finds new premises. And she had the most amazing fabric on sale. Um, so this is a Robert Kaufman double jersey um, and I just couldn't resist it. I'd been coveting it for months and months. Um, and I decided that it would make a good linden sweater, so the grain line linden. Um, it's really super soft, so it's just a simple grey grey sweatshirt. Um, on the inside is this kind of thermal um, type fabric, so that's the double knit. Um, and what I decided to do, I just had a bit of a brainwave about what would look good, so I appliqued a star onto the front. So I used the reverse of the jersey for the star. Um, I did try it out beforehand because I was worried how applique would work on a jersey in terms of kind of stretching it out. Um, but I managed to get a really good technique and that kind of involved. So I, I did the kind of us usual um, applique paper where you iron it on, you transfer it onto the design and then onto the fabric um, and then what I did was I basted um, around the star and then I did a tiny zigzag stitch all the way around and that worked out really really well um, obviously where there were two layers of fabric that weren't quite in sync with each other um, I did have to be really careful but yeah it worked out really really well so because I love it so much I went and bought some more of the fabric um, because Marie still had a little bit left. Um, so I'm gonna make another one as well because I just love it so much. I think I'll wear it to death. Lastly, um, so I have made a few other things this month um, which have been kind of pattern testing for other people which I can't show you yet. Um, but I'll kind of show them in later videos. Um, one thing I did um, nearly finish was the um, bell swimsuit from Flojo. Um, I haven't 100% finished it because I actually, it took me so long to make it um, a lot of unpicking and starting again. The instructions weren't actually that clear. Um, I got to the stage where I could finally fit it on myself and it was the least flattering thing in the world. So I decided to just pretty much throw it in the corner. The fabric itself is gorgeous, really, really lovely, this kind of watermelon print. And I chose to do a contrast black band. Um, 
but yeah it just the style of it is not flattering at all um so i'm not gonna have the handmade swimming costume at the moment but that's fine um i might look into making the um closet case patterns um bombshell swimsuit which i've seen on other people and it does actually look really flattering um so i think that would suit me a bit better um but for now that is definitely going in the never going to finish pile i might be able to um, salvage some of the material to make some knickers or something like that that'd be fine anyway that's it for my may roundup thanks very much for watching um if you aren't already if you subscribe um in the next week or so i'm going to upload a june plans video um so yeah don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you soon thanks very much Bye bye